Good evening and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. Across the country, countless lives are lost as a result of homelessness each year. The same can be said in the Wabash Valley. The Homeless Council of the Wabash Valley held a special memorial tonight to honor those lives lost. News 10's Kit Hanley attended the service. She has more on the significance of the event and what it means to the homeless community. We should tell you some of the stories from tonight may be difficult to hear. Community members gathered in the Vigo County Courtyard earlier this evening to pay their respects to 22 people who lost their lives as a result of homelessness. Linda, 22 Mom, names were read Marvin, off of a sheet of paper Tom, at Thursday evening's Dave, homeless memorial. It was a night of remembrance, and for some, it was a night of gratitude. Look at me now. I mean, I have real hair, good hair. I have clothes. I have shoes, like real shoes not just pretend shoes, putting a bag over my feet. Vigo County resident Fadena was homeless for two years. She tells me she was just days away from being a name added to Thursday's list. And if they wouldn't have got to me when they did, I'm going to be flat honest with you, I'd have slipped my wrist. I was that point. She says that's why it was so important for her to share her story at the memorial. Fadena was living in the woods up until representatives from Reach Services and the Hamilton Center found her and got her help. She thought everyone had forgotten about her. Brendan Kearns with the Homeless Council of the Wabash Valley says this memorial is to remind Fadena and others that people do care. A lot of times when our homeless people pass, they're alone. They, they don't have family members in the community. And so this is an event where we can recognize them to say, hey, you know, we, we do know you. We, we did care about you. Fadena tells me she went from having a job, a house and two cars to showering in the woods. She says you never know when your life can change. So just be kind. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with homelessness, we linked to several helpful resources on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting in Terre Haute, Kid Hanley, News 10.